So let's talk about some uh, some cheap wide receivers, uh, or I guess mid-range wide receivers first. Uh, mid-range wide receivers, um, let's do like uh, our two favorites in this range. We'll get uh, get a little clip here and, and see how we like them. Um, why don't you give me one, I'll go one, then we're going to go back and forth. But in this range, let's call it like 4,500 to 6,500. Who are you, Who your fa- who's your favorite guy in this range? Uh, who's your first favorite? Okay, yeah. Well, there's a lot of guys in this range that I like. Um, I think I think at the top of the 5K range, there's going to be a few guys that are popular. I'm going to highlight a guy in the middle that might not be quite as popular, um, and that's Jerry Judy. Now, I, part of the reason I like him is because he makes sense in Herbert stacks. And another reason I like him is because he seems fully healthy now. He saw nine targets last week. He played his highest percentage of snaps of the season, eight targets the week before. And um, Bridgewater hasn't really been targeting his outside receivers. uh, And also the Chargers give up more over the middle to tight ends and slot receivers. So I'm going to take a chance on Judy as my run back in Chargers stacks. And I also think he's a good enough play that you could just play him on his own too. what about you, Scott? Where who do you like in this range? Yeah, I, I like that Judy call. That's an interesting one, especially with the the tight end and uh, slot receiver stat you had. Uh, my first one here is going to be Jalen Waddle at fifty nine hundred. I just think at under six thousand, you get someone who is insanely involved in the offense right now. I know it's not Deez balls. I know his A dot is low, but you look at the targets. 13, 8, 12, 10, 6, and 9. Last week, he had a touchdown run, too, which was which is huge. He was 8 for 65 on 9 targets. He has 60-plus yards in 5 of 6 games. Um, the, the Carolina had been pretty good against receivers for a while, but uh, Terry McLaurin had 100 yards against them last week. I just think you're going to be someone under 6,000 that's this involved in the offense. Um, it, I, I just going to take it every time. It, it's six, And he's he's a guy that is talented. It's not like it's, it's, we're talking about, uh, you know, a Danny Amendola or someone that, like, is only going to be underneath about. Like, if Waddle can break a tackle and go, like, he, he can be gone. We've seen that. We saw that plenty at Alabama. Um, so I like Jalen Waddle at 5,900. Um, I'm not stacking Miami Carolina at all anyway, but as a one-off, I think he's very, very uh, playable and someone I'm having a lot of lineups. Uh, who else do you like in this range? Who's your Who's your second guy here that uh, you're going to be uh, targeting in this range? Yeah, uh, really like Waddle too. Um, so I'll briefly mention two other guys because I, one is Marvin Jones, who I sort of already mentioned. Uh, it's just it's a great spot for Jacksonville, and Agnew being out now sort of pushes it over the edge for me that I'd expect some more targets. And there's like a little bit of added touchdown equity in such a good matchup against the Falcons. Um, and that the same can be said about Brandon Cooks. Normally, I don't love rostering Cooks um, playing for such a bad team. Um, but with Tyrod Taylor back in, in in four in four Tyrod Taylor starts this season, Cooks seen he's seen 14 targets twice. Yep. Um, I know he only had three last week, but that's because of the game script. Houston got up big early and, you know, kind of didn't really need to throw the ball. And then, you know, we normally don't think of Cooks as a guy with too much upside, just, you know, being at the team that he plays for. But a home matchup against the Jets uh, adds some touchdown upside. So I'm comfortable going with Cooks this week. Um, what about you? Who, who else do you who else are you looking at in this range? Yeah, my other guy in this range is uh, – I'm going to drop down a little bit. I'm going to go to 4,900, get a little spicy. I'm going to go Van Jefferson. We talked about him a little bit. We talked about Rams, uh, Rams Packers stacks. He's 4,900 on DraftKings. Um, I just think this is a little bit more than a back-and-forth game than the, the, the total tells us. I think that uh, if you're playing a Packers stack, it's a really nice way to get cheap underneath there. You mentioned Odell Beckham. Uh, yeah, I know he's had 10 days on the offense. I still don't think it's uh, – I'm not, not that worried about him you know, taking that many targets. But you look at Van Jefferson last four weeks – seven six seven and seven targets it's a nice cheap piece of this game um, i think stafford is due for a bounce back uh, he's playing a ton of snaps which is really important he's on the field all the time and he's a guy that can't hit a big one too so you give me give me consistent targets a guy who's on the field all the time and can hit a big one um, i do really like that and i think that under five thousand is a really good way to get a piece of this uh, this game really cheaply so i'm going to be having uh, a lot of van jefferson in lineups both in stacks and also i think you'd be very playable as a one-off too and just uh, kind of get uh, get a piece of this game if you're going elsewhere with your stack so i, I do like van jefferson a lot uh, with the you obviously know Robert Woods and Beckham uh, we're not totally sure if he knows the offense yet but what about um real quick cheap receivers you talked about LaVisca Chenault a little bit at 4400 um is there anybody in the under 4500 range that you find yourself liking there's two guys down here I do like we talked about 
him out a little bit last week. I really like Var- Marquez Valdez Scantling again. He's forty one hundred against the against the Rams. Uh, he finally hit the big game last week. He was four for one twenty three in touchdown. He had that seventy five yard touchdown. Take the lead late in the game. Most important to me, like I know he's a big play guy that can hit the big play, but he had ten targets last week. He is the clear number two right now. Um, he's above Alan Lazard. Um, I like it even more if Aaron Jones Aaron Jones play because they use him a lot in the passing game too. I think he's just a nice cheap piece of this game. Always a boomer bust guy. Like you're always taking a risk with MBS that you know he catches you know two passes and doesn't do much. But um, give me a number two guy in an offense with a you know Hall of Fame quarterback in a game that I think is going to be a higher total than they were seeing on the Vegas line. Um, Forty one hundred. I just like the price. I think he's, he's a really he's a guy that can blow up with that price. And you give me that down this range on a good offense with a great quarterback. I'm going to take that every time. The other guy down here is is Nick Westbrook. Um, they're against the Patriots. They're going to have to throw the ball a lot. We mentioned a lot earlier. We we're talking about Dontrell Hilliard that the Tennessee just has nobody nobody healthy right now. Yeah, um, that's who I was going to bring up. Someone yeah. from the Tennessee game. I he mean, was, he was seven for one hundred seven on eight targets last week. Like he was really valuable at the price. You know, AJB is questionable. Julio Marcus Johnson are out. Good game script. I think that I think it, for the price, he can get there pretty easily. Yeah, and so in this cheap range too, there is just no one. I mean, it's rough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's usually rough. I can find guys. It's like I looked at Nico. I looked at Nico Collins again. And I'm like, yeah, I looked closer, and I'm like, no, I can't get there. I just, I think it's MVS and Westbrook for me. Maybe some Chenault if I if I let you talk me into him. Uh, but other than that, I think that uh, those are the two guys that I like the most. Yeah, I mean, and Nico Collins was the other one that I was even yeah. considering bringing up. So other than that, there's just nothing now. I will take a few chances on Chenault, but you know, like like you, I'm wary, and I understand if you don't want to go there. Um, but you know, you asked about the the ch- even cheaper than him. Yeah, I think I think West Brooks just he'd have to be the best option after after seven catches for 107 yards last week and just all the injuries they have. Like, I guess I guess that's where I'd feel safest. Um, in a, in a game, they, in a game, they should be trailing. Right. In a game, they should be trailing. Yeah. N- another good point. Um, but yeah, I love the MVS call, especially if Lazard doesn't play. 